I'm going to be talking about all the DNA mutations and discuss whether or not they cause frame shift in the DNA. Frame shift mutations not only alter the sequence of the gene within which the mutation occurs, they alter the sequences of genes all along the DNA double helix within which the mutation occurred. So basically, a frame shift mutation can alter the sequences of many genes. The DNA mutations that tend to cause frame shift include deletions, insertions, duplications, and translocations. A nucleotide deletion is one where one or more nucleotides is removed or lost from one strand of the DNA double helix. It will cause a frame shift which will change the codon or gene sequences all along that DNA double helix. A base pair deletion is where one or more base pairs are removed or lost from the DNA double helix, which again will cause a frame shift in the DNA double helix, shifting the codons and gene sequences, altering them. A nucleotide insertion is when one or more nucleotides are added or inserted into one strand of the DNA double helix, which definitely causes a frame shift in that strand as well as the entire double helix. Base pair insertions is where one or more base pairs are inserted into the entire DNA double helix, which again causes a frame shift. A nucleotide duplication is where one or more nucleotides is replicated twice, which will cause a frame shift in that strand of DNA, as well as a shift in codon or gene sequences all along the DNA double helix. Base pair duplication is where one or more base pairs are replicated twice during DNA replication, which will definitely cause a frame shift changing or altering the codon sequences and therefore the gene sequences throughout that entire DNA strand. Translocation involves the deletion of one or more base pairs from one DNA double helix and then the insertion of those base pairs into another DNA double helix. As you can see, it would cause frame shift in both DNA double helices that were involved. DNA mutations, including inversions, substitutions, and point mutations, do not cause frame shift mutations, meaning they will not alter gene sequences all along the DNA double helix. A nucleotide inversion is one where one or more nucleotides are removed from one strand of the DNA double helix, inverted, and then replaced into that DNA strand. This does not cause a frame shift because the same number of nucleotides that are removed will be replaced into that DNA strand. However, it will cause mismatch pairs in the location of the mutation. Base pair inversion involves one or more base pairs that are removed from the DNA double helix, inverted, and then replaced into that DNA double helix, usually in the same location. This will not cause frame shift mutations, nor will it cause mismatched pairs. However, it will change the sequence within that gene. Nucleotide substitutions is where one or more nucleotides are removed from one strand of the DNA double helix and replaced by an equal amount of nucleotides, however, potentially different nucleotides. This will not cause a frame shift mutation. However, it can potentially cause mismatch pairs. Base pair substitutions is where one or more base pairs are removed from the DNA double helix and replaced by an equal amount of base pairs. However, potentially different base pairs. This will not cause frame shift mutations, nor will it cause mismatch pairs. However, it will change the sequence within that gene. A point mutation involves only one nucleotide. This is where one nucleotide on one strand of the DNA double helix is misreplicated. It will not cause a frame shift mutation. However, it will indeed cause a mismatch 
pair in the location of that mutation. There are three types of point mutations, silent mutations, missense mutations, and nonsense mutations. A silent mutation is a point mutation of the third nucleotide of a codon. And because two to four codons can code for the same amino acid, there may be no apparent mutation and no detrimental effects. A missense mutation is a point mutation of any one of the three nucleotides in a codon, which can change the code for the amino acid, which means the amino acid will be altered ultimately in the protein which will result in an apparent mutation or detrimental effects. A nonsense mutation is a point mutation of any one of the three nucleotides of a codon, which changes it to a stop codon. So instead of an amino acid, you'll have a release factor or a splicing factor, which will halt the synthesis of the protein at the ribosome which will cause a truncated protein or shortened protein, which ultimately means no protein at all, especially since proteins are very specific amounts and orders of amino acids. Simple as that. For the notes on DNA mutations, as well as extra notes involving the causes of mutations, the categories of genetic mutations, as well as protection measures for mutations, Click the link in the description below to download your own copy.